What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mike and Action. I'm back in the airport again. So today, I'm gonna be flying out to Chicago. Before my flight, you know, I had to get some breakfast. So I got the Honest Time Burger Bros. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of sucks. Why does it look so plain, though, man? Looking like plastic. Like a plastic egg. The bag was looking kind of sucks, but I must have gone for it. I had it one time a while back, and it was pretty good. It was probably like, like three years ago. So let's try it again. No, bad, but it's not the best either. Currently, it is about 5.40. I had to wake up at 4.30 a.m. today. What is going on, y'all? Yeah? It's your boy, Mac in Action. I just landed in Chicago. I'm currently in my rental car. You can see I got the Dodge Charger. I usually don't like chargers just because they're so damn wide. But it's what they gave me, so I guess it's kind of whatever. Right now, I'm heading out to the Vero Walk, and then after that, I'm probably gonna check out the Starbucks, and then probably get a bite to eat. Kinda stuck in traffic, as you can see. I have about 23 minutes, so see you in a little bit. I just got to the downtown area out here in Chicago. It was about a 45 minute drive from the airport. I kinda took a while, plus there was traffic. I'm about to walk through the water. I might get on the boat to do a little tour, but I'm not sure yet, because I don't have that much time. But for sure, I want to find some food. This is how it looks right now. I kind of just realized that I've been walking for a while now, and I didn't even check where I parked. <laughs> so it's going to be fun getting back. Pretty much, I already walked across one side of the water. So now I'm kind of thinking about going on, on that side. And maybe, maybe I'm going to see if I can get on that boat. If not, I'm just gonna go eat something because I'm already getting kind of hungry. I just came out of Starbucks. It was pretty cool. Make sure you go watch the video that I'm gonna be posting. I'm actually kind of surprised by the amount of people that are out here walking around. Because out there in Houston, you don't really see that many people walking around anywhere. But when you do, it's just kind of like in the downtown area. But you can see everyone's just out here walking. I just go back to my car, and this is what I found on the windshield. A ticket. Are you serious? It's kind of my fault because I only I only put one hour for the parking. I was kind of trying to make it back in time in one hour, but then I got off track. I started walking. I don't even know where. Let's go! I got a ticket. I ended up coming to the Millennium Park or whatever it's called, which is where they have the bean. It's kind of like a must. If you come to Chicago, you gotta come take a picture with the bean. Just parked over there. The only thing that sucks about coming here is that every single time I go somewhere, I had to pay $7 parking, which kind of sucks. Cause $7, bro, like really? I just tried to come to the Bean, but it turns out it was closed. I mean, you can still see it, but you can't really go up close cause it's under construction. I guess I just have to enjoy the park right here. Even though it's closed, I guess it's so cool to just see it in person. Cause it's kind of like an iconic thing out here in Chicago. Here it is, y'all. Uh, crazy thing, I'm actually four minutes away from O Block, which I'm kind of getting nervous, but I'm just gonna drive by, I'm not gonna do anything dumb. Yo, shout out, shout out the people, man. This is what I'm doing for y'all, man. I'm out here in O Block, this shit crazy as hell. I gotta stay in the lookout because I don't know where the hell I'm at. Look, I ain't gonna lie, driving through there, they make me nervous. <laughs> Just because I've heard so much stuff about O Block, and you know, like, there's a lot of famous people that come from O Block. How am I supposed to do anything now, man? That rain ruined my plans. Why? Why? Why does that have to rain right now? Why? It's your boy Mike in action. I just made it to Chinatown. Thank God. I almost thought I wasn't, I wasn't gonna be able to make it because of that rain. But right now, I just got me one of those fluffy cheesecakes that I wanna try really bad, but I think I'm gonna wait till I get home just so I can give them to my girl. Just because it is my first time here, I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna get yet, but for sure I'm gonna be eating. Hey, but you know what? It, it, it is a pretty cool vibe out here. 
it kind of feels like it kind of feels like I'm in China or something. By the way, it smells super good out here. I haven't ate all day, so I might just pick somewhere to go. While walking through the upstairs, I came across one of these vending machine places. I've seen these all over YouTube, and now I'm finally here in Chinatown, in Chicago. We have claw machines over here on this side, and then and then they got the the ones that you just put in and you get a little toy over here on this side. I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna do. I might be going with this one or this one. All I'm gonna say is hopefully it ain't no scam because I'm gonna be pissed. Damn, I almost had it. Yeah, it's time for the next one. She was big as fuck. <laughs> I have three tokens left. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I might just get one of these toys over here on this side. But they have so many, so it's kinda hard to choose one. I have one token left, so I think I'm just gonna go with these little bears. Even though I'm probably not gonna win, but I'm just gonna try, so. Fuck it. Nope, I didn't win shit. The only thing I walked out of that store with is this little thing. I didn't win it, I just had to pay for it. And the little turn machines. You know I couldn't leave town town without getting the bubble tea. So that's what I'm doing right now. I came to this place called Uni Uni. Which I didn't even do no research on, I just kind of just walked in because honestly I kind of forgot what I got already I just know it was like a Yakult limit tea, I don't know, some, some shit like that This is how it looks right here The drink that I got, it's a pineapple lemon Yakult flavor Oh shit, the range coming! Fuck! God, the range just came back! The range came back, I'm all poured up Hopefully my mind's good My camera did get wet because I was holding it and I was just about to try this drink. Uh, so, I got the lemon pineapple yakult. Which, for some of y'all that don't know, there's a little things that y'all probably had whenever y'all were a kid. I know I did. Uh, and the little white with the red label. Man, those were so good. Uh, let's try it out real quick. Mm. So, you really do get the flavor of yakult. Yakult, I, I don't know how to say it. I know in Spanish is Yakult. It's kind of weird, but man, you really do taste the flavor. So I wonder if they actually put in some of that in there and then adding the lemon pineapple. I don't know, but man, the thing is good. And this is actually the first time that I see Yakult flavor as a, as a drink. I, I might not be able to have one of these for a while after this. So I gotta enjoy it. Cheers. <laughs> 